So every single Sony State of Play seems to be the same thing, one huge fun trailer like The Last of Us Part 2 trailer or a Final Fantasy 7 remake trailer, and the rest are usually VR titles and any games, maybe an odd curveball here and there, but usually the same thing. Should we be expecting more this time? What do you think? So Sony has announced the state of play and in this video we're going to try to guess on what games could be shown or even what consoles will be shown or of course not shown. As always guys on the Robotron Show we cover the latest gaming news, leaks and more so if you want to be kept up on all the latest gaming news make sure you click that subscribe button and have that notification bell on. So as I said Sony announced the state of play a couple days ago via a tweet saying 2019's final episode of the state of play kicks off Tuesday December 10th 6am Pacific time 9am Eastern time 20 minutes of of news, game reveals, and updates. Now for those wondering if they will be covering any next gen plans, I have some disappointing news for you. On the PlayStation blog they said this, and it probably bears repeating, don't expect any updates related to our next gen plans in this episode. Now this is unfortunate, but I think it's also a good thing. I would like them to reveal it in a huge event, when the excitement for the next gen is peaked and everyone is watching and we finally get to hear everything with no details spared. But this begs the question, what else is there for Sony to show? With 20 minutes of new game releases, new release dates, announcements, and new gameplay footage, there has to be something good in it, right? First off, I think we'll see an announcement for a Resident Evil 3 remake. With the PSN icons leaking not too long ago, there's no doubt that something is going to happen and something is going to be announced, whether that be pre-order info, release date info, or just a Resident Evil 3 remake trailer. If it's in early development, I can see a CGI trailer being released, but if it's pretty late in development, I can see maybe a release window or even a release date. Next is the obvious game, and that's a game that I thought would actually be shown at the last Sony State of Play, and that's Ghost of Tsushima. A gameplay trailer in most cases will happen because it's about time they show us more of this Ghost of Tsushima game since everyone has been waiting for it. And of course we can't forget about Final Fantasy VII Remake, no doubt. It, it shows up every single State of Play it seems. Every single time we get some kind of trailer or gameplay trailer or something from this game, and I just, I just love it. it. It's really the standout in every State of Play. And of course more details about Final Fantasy VII were released recently, so really a full trailer that's showcasing those in video would be pretty fun to see and I'd personally love to see some more Final Fantasy 7 remake. Now other games that are a little bit less likely to appear are games like Cyberpunk 77, The Avengers Project, Doom Eternals, Dying Light 2, and so on. I think we can maybe see some Psychonauts 2 in there too and maybe even Doom Eternal a little bit more so than the other games. Neo 2 is also a game that we haven't really heard much on but is still in the area of it being there. But not as much as say Final Fantasy 7 remake and of course the Ghost of Tsushima. We also can't forget about Modern Warfare which is still pretty new at this point. Sony will want to promote any new content heading to that game so we could see more of that too. And let's not forget about the Batman Family game that was rumored not too long ago actually. Now this is sort of an iffy thing because we really haven't heard anything else from that rumor but keep the Batman Family game in the back of your mind because we could see maybe an announcement for that game for the PS4. I don't think it's going to be for the PS5 if they do announce it in the latest state of play because they did say they weren't going to announce any next gen plans. But if they don't, there's still a chance that we could see a PS5 Batman game, so that would be cool too. Now there's one thing that caught my eye on the PlayStation blog, and that's the new game reveals. And this is where I'm going to kind of calm my excitement, because it does not say what kind of reveal it's going to be. In most cases, it's probably either going to be a VR title or an indie game, or both. Which isn't bad per se, but I think a lot of us want to see at least one new PS4 game before the generation ends, a sort of last hurrah for the PS4. Seeing as this is the last Sony State of Play, they really need to knock it out of the park, but most likely it's going to be some indie games and PSR games, which again is not bad. I love my indie games. I mean, I was I was playing the indie game Risk Rain not too long ago. I actually uploaded a video on that, so I love my indie games, but I would like to see that last hurrah PS4 game. So those were just some of the speculations on what we could see at the new Sony State of Play, which is going to be on December 10th. I'm always hyped on these, and I always end up disappointing, so I'm going to kind of calm my excitement and wait, but what about you? What do you think they're going to show at the Sony State of Play? Before you leave, make sure you click that subscribe button. And of course, leave a like if you enjoyed it, dislike if not. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.